Hello and welcome to the session of on the fly results using impel out card in Hyperloom software stack user profile. So in this session we will see uh, what is uh, impel out card and then example on impel out. So let's just see first impel out card. So impel out card is used for uh, enhancing on the fly outputs. So it has uh, two values that is yes or the no and uh, by default value is no. So if uh, if user defined as a no, so there is no incremental results of implicit nonlinear analysis is uh, requested uh, using uh, analog subcase entry. Uh, only the primary dot std file will be published uh, after run is completed. And if user defined impel out as a yes, so uh, the incremental results of the implicit nonlinear analysis requested by analog card uh, published. Uh, um, with uh, primary std file and also dynamically with the impel.std file is published during the runtime. Uh, so uh, if impel out is set to yes then the separate uh, underscore impl.std file will uh, publish and which contains on the fly results during the runtime. So uh, the following uh, results uh, are supported for the impel out uh, card. So basically, uh, translational and uh, rotational displacement are generally supported uh, along with stresses and strain. So for the stresses, uh, elemental cor corner or gauss data are supported and for the strain, element corner, gauss and thermal also supported for first order and second order solid element and for first order shell element for a small and large displacement implicit nonlinear analysis. So. Uh, if uh, let us consider our the op above statement, uh, so it is not uh, supported for a second order shell element for large displacement. It only support for small displacement implicit nonlinear analysis. Uh, similarly, for uh, 1D uh, elements, so 1D C bar, C beam, or joint G elements, uh, which are supported for both small displacement and large displacement for elemental stress and strain results. Contact results are generally supported for both small and large displacement for uh, N2S or S2S that is node to surface and surface to surface contact. Uh, similarly, SP force is also supported for both small and large displacement implicit analysis. Uh, and if uh, MAT S1 is present, then uh, no elemental on the fly results are output for second order shell. So second order shell uh, will not support for uh, on the fly results if mat s1 card is present uh, also uh, on the fly results are not are not output for uh, second order shell elements for large displacement analysis now let us see an example on param card with imp impel out yes so opening hypermesh so this is the model we are going to consider uh, for this tutorial, so this model is mesh with uh, first order solid elements. So uh, let us review one by one. So uh, let us review the components for whether material and property are assigned to it. So as uh, we can see, material and property are assigned to the component. The contacts are predefined in this model. So quickly re review. Also, uh, we have various uh, uh, load collectors predefined with this. So, uh, this is the NL uh, param card which is used to activate the nonlinear solution method. NL adapt card is used for adaptive control card. NL out is used for incremental results. So, here uh, this is a value uh, as a 10 for incremental output and uh, SV, NON, CNV that is save non convergence. So, we consider as a yes. So, uh, this will help you to uh, publish output request, uh, output results even if the nonlinear solution will not converge. Uh, so we have boundary conditions, constraints and forces. So uh, the one end of the plate is constrained in all six degrees of freedom and uh, external force of 500 Newton is acts on the other plate along with the pretension of uh, 5000 Newton. Uh, Load steps also are predefined in this model. So let us review the load step. 
So this is the first load case of rotation with the analysis type as nonlinear static analysis. SPC is defined, retention is also defined, and NL param NL out card also is defined. Let us review the second load case for uh, external load. So this is also a nonlinear subcase. Uh, for uh, SPC, it is defined load also defined in the load section. Uh, NL param card also defined, and NL adapter and NL out also defined. Now, to activate the NL param card, go to param card and search for impel out. Here, uh, click on impel out and define the value as yes. Now export the value, uh, export the solver deck name as impel out sample. Click on save and click on export. Now run the this uh, FM file using OP script. Open the file and run this file using OptiStruct Solver. Wait for some time to see the uh, on the fly results of Impel Out opening Hyperview. Now load the results of impel.h3d file, then click on apply. Click on control button, select the result type at this place when you click on apply. Select the load factor as 0.2. So as we can see here, uh, we have a load factor up to 0.2. Now, to, uh, if the output file will update, so uh, let us again load that impel.std file. So we can see here is the the uh, impel.std file is updated on the fly. Uh, so it is updated according to the dot in uh, dot out file as the solver is solving this uh, model the dot std file mpl dot std file is getting updated dynamically during the runtime so mpl dot std file works uh, with the help of mpl out thank you very much for watching the video